Hey, what is going on guys? Vexinator bringing you another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this NVIDIA overlay or NVIDIA shout out. And you can customize this to say pretty much whatever you want. And it's a great way to get your audience's attention and get them to, you know, like the video, subscribe, uh, follow you on Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that. And I use these in my videos and they look really good. They add a nice like kind of professional element. They're just another thing to add to your video to make it look that bit nicer. And they're really easy to make. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open Photoshop. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. This is what we're going to make. Something that looks just like this. It's very simple. Uh, but once we put it into Vegas and we do some editing on it, it'll look really nice. So first step is just go File, New. Now you want to make this for whatever resolution you use for your videos. And, you know, just name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I would also do 1080p because that's the most common for most people. Make sure it's a transparent background and sRGB. So just click OK. And then we've just got a huge blank document. So this is what I'm going to do is create a box that looks like this gray box here. So what we're going to do is use this uh, lasso tool and set our gray color. So what you can do is click on the color palette button and we'll just get the background color for Photoshop. That's just the easiest way to get a nice gray color. And what we're going to do is hold shift and that'll give us a straight line. And then keep holding shift, it'll give us a 45 degree angle. And then keep holding shift all the way to the end and just click up here and then that'll do that. So now we can go new layer and bucket tool and we'll get the gray. So we can control D, deselect that. Click over on the layer here, control J and then click control T. And then hold shift and click right on your keypad to move it over a, few, a little bit. Now what we're going to do is add some color. So just to show you, uh, like this is just a blue and make sure you want to put this below the first layer. So you've got that blue stripe there. Now you can just do a solid color if you want. It's, it's really up to you. But what I prefer to do is a gradient, something like this. So what we're going to do, you click on the gradient and yours will probably look something like this, just black and white. So what we're going to do is click on this little box down here, select the color you want. So say so we're going to do orange and you want a dark orange, maybe bring it down here a bit on the left hand end. And then here you want a lighter. So maybe even more of a ye kind of yellow color. And then I think that just gives you a nice gradient and just a bit more variation rather than just a solid color. And you want to set the angle to 60 degrees. And then just click OK once you've done that. Control T again. You can, we can move this over a bit if we don't want it to be so large. And then that's uh, pretty much your kind of box. Now we're not quite done yet because when we're editing, we're going to have this uh, slide across uh, just before the gray. So we're going to make sure you do is click on the layer you've got the gradient on, click Control J, Control T again, and move that across just so it reaches the edge here because we don't want to see any blank. That'll look quite strange once we're editing. So just do that step, right click here and click Merge Down. So we can enable this layer again and now we want to add our text. So it really is up to you what font you use, but the font I use for my channel, kind of my channel theme is Unisans. So what we'll do is we'll write, you know, at uh, your name and then just hold control you can drag that over here we need to make that white and then we'll control T hold shift to make it smaller and move it up here and fit it in there click the tick drag this up to the top and there you go there you have your name now you don't have to use this font uh, I'm using Unisans like I said and that is heavy italics caps and then underneath that I'll Right, control J again to duplicate this layer. And then we'll type, you know, follow me, or something like that. And then what we'll do is we'll make that the thin version. So if you can, use a font where you've got a thin version of it rather than just the standard bold version. It looks really, really nice. So, you know, just have that contrast between the thick text, which is the main thing you want people to read, and then your subtext underneath. That's the way I do mine, and I think it looks really nice. But you don't always have to use this. So, you know, maybe you could use uh, another font. Just remember the main thing is you don't want to use uh, sans fonts. You want to use sans serif, which means they don't have the ticks at the end of the letters and you know something nice and bold and always in full caps. That's just the number one thing. You always have to use full cap when you're doing something like this. So railway and then we might get thin. And there you go, that looks pretty nice too. So that's pretty much it for the Photoshop side. We've pretty much made it. You can, you know, change this up a bit if you want. Let's move around, get the positioning the way you really like it. It's 
pretty straightforward. And then once you've done this, you're going to need to export it. Okay, so this is it. We've done it and we've got it all the way we like it. We need to export the layers. So what we're going to do is click this eye over here on all the layers except the top one that says uh, follow me. So we want, it's just got that. That's the only thing we've got in the document. So we can go file, export, and quick export as PNG. So what we're going to do is click on the desktop and we'll name this uh, follow and click save. And we'll do it for the next layer. And then click file, export, export as PNG. And then this Twitter. And you basically need to do this for every layer so that we can manipulate each layer individually in Premiere or Vegas. You don't want to just have your text all one big block and just, you don't want to just have, you know, this and then the whole thing slides across because it's really boring and doesn't grab people's attention and just doesn't look as nice. So if you're wondering why we're doing that, uh, this is why. And then we'll click gray and then last layer and we'll call this color. So this was it for the Photoshop side. We've made a logo and now we're ready to edit it in Vegas. Okay, so now we're in Vegas and we've dragged in our main layers. So what we're gonna do is drag them in the order we had them in Photoshop. So we've got our color layer, then we've got our gray, then we've got Twitter, and lastly, the uh, call to action. So this doesn't have to be Twitter, remember, you can write, you know, subscribe here and then underneath you might write you know if you enjoy the video or something like that you don't have to do the twitter thing you can the idea is that you do uh, several of these and then each one you do so subscribe twitter like the video you know check out my facebook each one will have a different color stripe and a different color gradient so you know blue for twitter red for youtube and stuff like that so you'll need to re uh, export the color layer each time and the text layers Okay, so now we're gonna start editing. So what we're gonna do is just mute uh, these top two layers, or top three actually, and just focus on this one. Okay, so now we need to keyframe our images. So what we need to do is click over here on the track motion tab. Now, as you can see, we are going to need to do some keyframing. So what we're gonna do is click over here in the center and then drag the footage all the way to the left until you can't see it at all, on the, it's completely off the screen. And then we're going to go a about half a second later, so you know, 0.29, and then bring this back to the center. So we can we can hit right click and restore box, and then that'll just snap it to the center. So if we close this and we play it back here, you can see it's a nice smooth transition across. So what we're going to do now is do the same for our gray layer. So unmute this tab so you can see it. Click here, and do the same thing again, all the way to the left until you can't see it at all. Now what we're going to do for this one though is instead of waiting half a second we'll maybe wait 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 of a second just so there's a bit of a delay. So we'll go 45 and we'll just, just trial and error you, you know you don't always know how this is going to turn out so really it's just a test. You know so that looks okay but it's still a bit slow we don't want uh, that big of a gap so maybe if we zoom in here and we'll bring this to 39 and see how this one looks. See, I think that looks like a really nice transition between, so you'll have gameplay behind this. Actually, I'll get some gameplay up now just to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got some gameplay here just to show you what it's gonna look like. So if I play this back, you can see uh, during the middle of the gameplay, you just have this nice transition and the box appears in the top left corner. Now we need to add our text. So what we're going to do is enable both of these layers. And what we're going to do is put a crossfade. So you can do this by dragging from the top left corner up here and just drag across. And you want to make the bottom one a bit longer. So your name should come in first, quicker, so maybe like about a second or so. And then you want to make the subheading a bit longer so that they read the main heading first. It grabs people's attention first. So if we play this back all together here. This is what it's going to look like. Now, as you can see, uh, we actually have done this a bit too early. So to fix this, so that you don't have the text fading in before the transition's finished, just select them both and then drag them across. And now this is what it's gonna look like. 
And there you go. So that's Bridge Your Effect. And you have a nice uh, tab at the top corner that tell people, you know, call to action, follow me, subscribe. And it looks pretty good in my opinion. I think this looks really nice effect. Adds uh, just another level of, you know, professionalism and video editing to your videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how to make a nice, simple in-video shout out for your videos. Hopefully enjoy. Now remember, if you do want to buy this, you can buy it on my Selfie fi page for 99 cents. And that will give you the Sony Vegas file, all the different layers and the Photoshop document. But if you are happy to make this your own, please follow the template. Uh, any problems you have with that, let me know down below. I'm always happy to answer your comments. And if you see someone else with a problem and you can help them out, uh, please do that as it just saves me a bit of time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.